Ladies, I'm back. Hi, <laughs> thank you for joining me again. So today we're going to be delving into wigs, wardrobe and makeup mean that all women can look beautiful. And it's true. So we're going to be delving into that topic. But before we do, this is my Instagram. It's over here on the screen. Go over and follow. Also, my Patreon is in the description box and contact details for a one-on-one -on -one consultation with yours truly also in the description box. So head over there if you're interested in the same and let's get into this topic. For a long time, some people have been in the back, okay? They've been in the back, they've been feeling like they're in the back, feeling like they are unable to compete and be in the race or in the running with the pretty girls. But guess what? Guess what? We have wigs, we have wardrobe, and we have makeup. Everybody can compete. Everyone everybody's in the running now to be a pretty girl to being a pretty woman if she chooses to dress that way with her wardrobe to have the feminine aesthetic with her look with her makeup with her hair with her nails with her accessories with her walk feminine voice control all of that you have the power to turn yourself into this beautiful woman and look amazing and have the feminine aesthetic that you want to have because you have all of these things accessible you have hair extensions wigs weaves tapings you name it you have all of that at your disposal and if you don't want to use those things then you can just get your own hair done and maintain it and make it look really lovely you can change your wardrobe and really take the time to select pieces to wear that resonate with the feminine aesthetic or the look that you are trying to go for. And of course, if you're on this channel, this is more of a femininity channel amongst other things. So naturally, that's where I'm pushing this. So you have the power to also enhance that feminine aesthetic and boost it tremendously to the roof, <laughs> to the moon, honey, to the stars, with your wardrobe. So why aren't you doing that? Why aren't you? Yes, you can look gorgeous and you can be wearing jeans. Yes, you can look gorgeous and you can be wearing a hoodie and you can still have your, um, your face beat and your hair looking like waves looking really glamorous. Yes, you can, but guess what? The whole feminine aesthetic is not there with you. If you're trying to go for the whole feminine aesthetic, then get the whole feminine aesthetic going with wigs or hair, wardrobe and makeup, which also plays a huge role in how you look. And one thing I want you to understand is that a woman who is below average looking or even let's just say a one out of ten i i don't think i've ever seen a woman that's a one out of ten ever in my life but let's just say that you think you are a one out of ten right and you feel like no wig no no wardrobe no amount of makeup will ever make me look better or like a five out of ten or be in the running or be a seven out of ten you will think that, but if you actually bother to put the time and the effort in to implement these three things, I am telling you, you have the ability to look way better than you do right now. Even for me, like I know that I can still take my look to the next level. I know that there are still things that I can do and implement. There are so many other things I can do and try different styles out to take myself to the next level there is still more for me to do and i'm finding it fun you know that we can play about with these things but ladies i'm telling you right now if you feel like you're not in the race you're not in the running you can be wigs wardrobe makeup boom <laughs> some of the makeup looks you might want to try out are going to be more simplistic but at the same time soft glam i think that's the best 
way to go especially for day to day and even for evening unless you're attending like a gala or something then of course you might want to do a bit more but um it's definitely good to have that medium ground going in terms of makeup as far as i'm concerned because it has more of the effort look there but at the same time you don't look out of place to society there are so many different things to play about with and look into when you're trying to take your look to the next level and have that boost of attractiveness going on for you. One thing I've noticed is that some people are afraid to reach their to reach their potential. It's like you're nervous of how amazing you can look and how much attention you can command because some people don't like that attention for one reason or another and that has to get binned. You just throw that mentality away. Throw, throw it behind you right now. Just throw it behind you and move forward, <laughs> okay? And get with this program so this program is i'm going to do my hair I'm going to do my makeup work on that wardrobe and i'm going to look like the woman i want to look like i'm going to be the best version of myself i'm going to be attractive that's what i'm going to do and let's speak about the wardrobe for a second you can still look extremely sexy attractive and gorgeous but not be revealing everything and showing lots and lots of skin. So I want to make that clear. The best way to go is definitely more classic and smart casual, more cute casual as well, um, sexy classy, that's the best way to go. So look more into things like tweed sets and pinafore dresses, you know, those kinds of things are going to be around just forever and ever. And of course, we're human beings, you should have your own style. So if you want to implement something that you love, then definitely do but make sure that it fits into the aesthetic or the feminine aesthetic look that you're going for. For hair, I think you have to play about with things and you really have to play about with it until you find what works for you. But what I have realised is that simplicity is your best friend when it comes to hair and like keep it, keep it simple keep it simple and keep it classic. I feel like that's the easiest way to go in terms of this feminine aesthetic that we're creating. That's where to go hairstyle wise, I would say. But at the same time, if you wanted to spruce things up a little bit and maybe you wanted to add some brown um, or I don't know, something highlights, then do it, you know, play about with different looks. You're only going to be as young as you are right now, okay? So live your life and play about with things. You're going to make mistakes or do things that maybe aren't the look that you're going for, but then make sure that you're always working on getting your look back. Ladies, I'm having so much issues with the lighting right now. Um, Actually, let me try to use my light. <laughs> So ladies, the main thing I want you to take away from this video is the fact that you can take yourself from looking however it is that you look right now currently and you can build upon that with your hair, your wardrobe and your makeup. It doesn't matter how you look, you can look better if you want to, if you put that time and that effort in. And one thing that I actually just spoke about this now on my live video for the dating challenge, I just got off doing that. And I mentioned the fact that there are some women who will really dislike certain things about themselves, their physical appearance, and they won't bother to make any changes or do anything about the things that they don't like. This channel is all about action. That's the point I'm trying to get across, that it's about being proactive and if you want to look better, you've got to put that time in. Work on the wardrobe and understand this, right? It's a journey so try to relax and you know not be too intense on yourself but at the same time you've got to make changes and you have got to put your best foot forward to have the look that you want to have and to be the version of yourself that you want to be you can decide whether you want to be attractive or whether you want to continue being 
unattractive that's totally up to you and the one thing that i love about women is that we are able to decide what we want we can like they say get a girl that can do both we can do both okay i woke up doing one and then i did what i needed to do and then i was the other so we can all do both if we want to if we put that time and effort in <laughs> you know so yes on that note ladies i'm going to love you and leave you right here i hope that you've been enjoying all of my uploads recently i've been trying to bang those out for you and just be more present with everyone you know so um yeah i hope you've been enjoying the uploads comment below if you are in agreement that all women can look amazing with the hair the wigs whatever wardrobe and makeup comment below and i'll see you in my next video